It is said that necessity is the mother of invention, and if there is one big necessity on the planet right now, and notably in the yachting industry, it's to find solutions for cruising the world's oceans in a way that's respectful to the environment. This vlog shows how one of the world's largest yacht builders is focusing its resources on making yacht building more sustainable in one particular area of construction. And to use an environmental pun, it's just the tip of the iceberg as far as what they're doing is concerned. Think of Larsen yachts and some of the world's largest and most sensational vessels come to mind. With magnificent paintwork, swimming pools, helipads and splendid teak decks, they stand out as being some of the finest examples of luxury engineering in the world. One of the reasons for Larsen's great success is their ability to source the finest materials. And as you may know, teak is a wonderful resource that our planet has to offer. For decades, it's been used not just for decking on yachts and ships, but also for furniture and for flooring. It's a precious commodity, and in recognition of that fact, Lurson have taken really quite remarkable steps to ensure that the teak tree will be around for centuries to come. Larson have been looking at ways to protect teak for about 10 years now and have been working quietly away for the last six years to test a new product as partners in a joint venture called Tesumo to develop decking using more sustainable wood. The result of this research is that they have sourced a fast growing wood that can be heated to adjust its color and also to prepare it for a remarkable process of resin infusion. This process is so advanced that it creates a molecular infusion of the resin into the wood itself. So this is far more than just coating wood in resin. The research indicates that the resin actually becomes polymerized to the cell walls of the wood. Okay, well I have to admit, I did need to look up the word polymerization before I filmed this vlog. I was useless at chemistry at school, although I do remember seeing diagrams of two hydrogen molecules and an oxygen molecule joined together to make water, which of course is a totally new and different substance. In fact, to the best of my knowledge and research, it seems that polymerization is in fact that connecting of two molecules together to make a new material. And that's what Tisumo is. It's a new material formed by the polymerization of the resin and this fast growing wood, making a totally new product. And this material is an exciting development for the yachting industry as a whole, since Tisumo is a wood that's available in abundance. It's easily sustainable and it demonstrates the same technical qualities as teak. That is to say it's tough and durable, but with sufficient elasticity and dimensional stability to be perfect for the decking on a yacht. It looks great. It's low on maintenance. It uses no toxic chemicals in its manufacture. And maybe most importantly of all, it can be recycled when its life on board a yacht is finished. Larson was so happy with the outcome of this collaboration with Tesumo that they commissioned them to build their entire stand for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, and they invited me to come along to take a look at it. Now, I don't want to give the impression that this product is exclusive for only Larson yachts, because it's not. The idea of developing Tesumo was never about Larson trying to get commercial advantage over other shipyards. And frankly, any shipyard in the world can and really should look at putting Tesumo decks on their yachts. As a matter of fact, I've heard that a very, very large yacht currently in construction will be using Tesumo on their decks. Now, I can't say too much about that just yet because I understand that they will probably want to make their own announcement on it. Although, of course, your comments and speculation are always welcome. Just don't expect me to give anything away to you. What I can tell you is that this is a little bit of an unusual vlog for me because as you can see, this part I'm filming in my home office, but in a couple of hours, I have to hop in the car, get to the airport and fly to the United States for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. While I'm there, I'll take a look at the Lurson stand. I'll film that part myself, 
and I'll send it back to my editors to be included in this video. I'm also delighted to tell you that I'll be reporting back from the boat show in a Lurson Fort Lauderdale special vlog. I mentioned at the beginning that Tesumo is just the tip of the iceberg of what Lurson are doing to tackle sustainability in yachting. Well, we'll be finding out just what other measures they're taking. And also I'll be talking to one of the key members of Lurson staff to find out other exciting things going on in the shipyard at the moment. If you want to win a super yacht to the value of $10 million, then click here to subscribe to my channel. You'll join an increasing number of people who all have that dream. Click here to watch an exciting walkthrough video of a super yacht and don't forget to check out the merchandise on the link below.